push the video. <laughs> On your best behavior. On your best behavior. On your best behavior. Need you to be. On your best behavior. On your best behavior. On your best behavior. Need you to be. Hello, everyone. It's Myrie and it's Kay. Hi. Hi, and we are here for our podcast B O Y B B Be on your best behavior. All right. So, so what are we talking about today, Kay? <laughs> We're talking about moving your business forward. And so I want to lead off again with the scripture. So um the scripture we have this morning is Matthew 10 and 16. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So I want to kind of break that down for how that goes toward moving your business forward. So serpents, their characteristics, their, it says the ability to accomplish goals in the world. That's what, that is why people think that serpents are wise because they have ability to accomplish goals in the world. So in spite of all the odds that are stacked against them, they are able to live, eat, and multiply. Now, who, what does that do? That sound like a people's. Sound like some people's. We know. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't say you was a serpent. I said the characteristics. Right. And then also doves. You know doves make for life. So to me, if you make for life, what is that? that you that loyal. Loyal. Consistency. Faithful. Yeah. So also another thing about doves or characteristics is their ability to find their way back home. Mm. Don't go too far and don't, don't stay too long. long. My dad used to say that to us all the time. And one of my nephews just quoted that this morning on Facebook. And another characteristic of a dove is, can you believe that doves have speed? I think they make an almost outrun an eagle, but they have speed and they have, they have, um, have, Notice or documented that doves have traveled from overseas to the United States. Right. I was, thinking, so, I was reading about that last week that I didn't even know doves could fly like 85 miles per hour or something crazy. Yeah. So so that's what. So anyway, so that's that's the scripture that I want to lead off this morning in going over moving your business forward. So we need to have some of those characteristics. All right. <laughs> So, um, in moving our business forward, <laughs> we are, I guess, transitioning or moving over to um, start our affiliate program. So, if you haven't heard out there in the streets, <laughs> we are doing something a little different because we know there are people out there that like us want to change their family tree um people that are service oriented and who want to find a way to get into this industry but honestly it's pretty difficult yes and it's becoming even more difficult to get involved because insurance companies are taking a long time to you know get you set up and things like that so we want to help people kind of uh, bring you under our wing yes, and help you to get established in this industry. We want to share the wealth. Well, I'm not sharing my wealth, but <laughs> you can get your own. <laughs> no. But our affiliate program, like I said, I'm just going to uh, read a short excerpt, is to assist those wanting to start a group home with the process from start to finish. Basically what we do is we do an already established um, home. We bring you in and we help you to, we, we in a sense, what, what do you call it when you take someone under your wing? We mentor you. Yes. We mentor you in the program on starting your own group home. So yeah, so like she said, I guess we're sharing the wealth, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> we're sharing the wealth because there's a lot of people, like she said, out that want to get started. They may not be able to have the funds. They may not be able to go as long as we did without getting uh, reimbursement from the insurance companies. 
which took us about eight months. Right. So we are we're cutting that down to like what thirty days. Yeah. You should be getting um, funds within thirty days, and, so, and that's kind of like unheard of. <laughs> and our affiliate program, we will um, there we will be taking applications, right? Yep. Am I jumping ahead of you? <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, so we will be taking applications. So it's not everybody uh, because you we... will have to go through a screening process. That's right. Because the thing is, it's a partnership and anybody that we link up with because we're already established in the business, we're making money and we don't really have to bring someone in. Oh, you're going to have to bring it. You're going <laughs> to have to come to the table with something. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that's right. <laughs> so basically, um, we will mentor you, oversee you for 90 days. And then at that point, not to say we drop you and leave you on your own, but you will be functioning on your own. So that's kind of how the program is set up. But they um, will be functioning on their own under, under the leadership us. of us. Yeah, yes. under our leadership. So. It gets you into the business and then also it helps you to make sure you're successful because we're when you're successful guess what we're, we're successful, successful. <laughs> <laughs> and we already successful so you gotta be successful. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so basically you'll be hiring your own staff managing your own payroll your own bills all of that we will just be overseeing you. So I just want people to understand what the affiliate program is when you when you come in. And then um, just to give you kind of like some um, foundation of uh, things that we try to do, we, tr we have integrity. So um, we will be having discussions with you that will be open. You can bring things to the table, suggestions, because we don't know everything. That's right. So we are open to collaborating with others. Um, we respect people. I know that's kind of um, hard out here right now. There's not a lot of respect being shown to other people, but we try to do that in our everyday lives. Um, we try to hold each other accountable. We do. And others around us accountable because we try to do things right and we expect others to do things right and not cut corners. Yes. Um, we have compassion and of course we're leaders. So joining our team, becoming an affiliate, you got to possess all those characteristics. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so like we said, we're actually just held uh, an affiliate program meeting so we already do have applicants. If you're interested, go ahead and click on the, click on the link in our bio. Get a hold of us somehow, and um, you know you can start the process and maybe go on the waiting list. And w there will be a waiting list. <laughs> yeah, there's already a waiting list. <laughs> yeah, there's already a waiting list. So definitely, but at least it'll cut out the eight months to one year of you waiting to get credentialized. Um, and, and then your um, reimbursement will come quicker. So another thing that we're doing, are you, are you good with the affiliate program? Yeah. Okay. So another thing that we're doing, we have our caregiver training program. First class is supposed to start July the 6th. Uh, the first day, which is Monday, will be 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. That are basically pretty much going to orientation, kind of tell people what the um, program will consist of. And then uh, every day after that, it'll be from uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It depends on how fast we get through the curriculum. And so that would be for a week. That program normally costs $475. Um, but for our first class, if you get in on that, you will uh, get the program for $350. And that is the caregiver for your caregiver certification. So most um, assisted living, behavioral health homes, if they have personal care, you have to be a certified caregiver. And like we said, we try to do things right. We do know that there's people out working as a caregiver that, that, aren't, that, certified. that aren't certified but should be. But like I said, we best care behavior homes, we try to do everything right. Um, 
that's one of the uh, thing, the things that we got going moving forward. Right. And then um, we do have an investment club. So that's something that you guys could think about doing on your own. You can't join our investment club, but <laughs> <laughs> but just suggestions on how to move forward. Get together with a group of like-minded people. Come together, establish some rules and um, you know bylaws, and start investing. So we are also a part of an investment club with a with a group of like-minded people and so that goes into thinking outside the box you have a business I've, I've had people um, hit me up or talk to me about you know investing in their business not really investing in business but asking me how we got our business started things of that nature and you have to think outside the box if you don't have a sixty thousand dollar capital to do your business then do you know any people that may have or you with the organization or you with a group? I mean, if you're with a group and you have like 25 and 30 people in that group, you guys can't come up with 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 dollars, then you uh, need to find a new group. <laughs> That's right, you need to find a new group. Yeah, so you can move your business forward and then you guys invest in your business. You get your business going and hand, and handle right, and then y'all go and invest in somebody else may want to start a business. And that's how you move forward. That's how you grow. Right. If you if you can't take out a business loan or if you can't uh, get the normal, typical way of, of, of building a business. And please don't use your credit cards. Don't run your credit cards up because... That I don't know. Some people have ran their business like that, but I, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I wouldn't do it. Um, so anyway, that is um, part of the investment club. It's part of another way that we're moving our business forward. Right. And if you need suggestions on, um, like I said, can't join our investment club, <laughs> but if you have a group of people and you need suggestions, hit us up. You know, we'll we will answer your questions if we can. We're not lawyers or anything like that, though we have a lawyer that we have access to. So, you know, we pay him. You can kind of get the information from us for free to a point. Second hand. <laughs> right. But, but, we, but we will not be giving out legal, legal advice. advice. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, is that pretty much you talk about preparation? Mm -hmm. uh, well, in moving your, your business forward, uh, I know the Bible says, I can't pick out a particular scripture, scripture but be prepared it, with these things that's going on these days. Right now, Arizona is is back on lockdown as far as gyms, um, restaurants, re is no, restaurants, restaurants no. gyms, well, schools, because they moved to schools date back. Yeah. Uh, what are other things that they, they're locking us down on? Well, I know you're required to wear a mask. All the time. And my house is locked up. Yeah. FYI. And, <laughs> but things that I guess are not necessarily central. Um, I know they haven't opened back up the libraries. And I kind of feel bad for that because like homeless people, that's where they would go hang out during the daytime to keep cool places like yeah. that. And then and then they go to the, um, the, shelter. the shelters in the evening time because you can't get in the shelters only a certain time. So I think about that and that's probably why we've been seeing so many homeless people out on the streets because places that they would normally go and hang out with to stay they cool, can. they can't. Yeah. yeah, so um so prepare yourself. I always I have told us keep some cash on hand. Don't put everything in the bank. You put everything in the bank now now the banks have time won't let you get your money out. Right. <laughs> And say, oh, you can get it out to ATM. What? Well, guess what? ATM. Most of them only let you get out a thousand dollars. I think maybe Chase. If you go inside certain banks and Chase, you can get out twenty five hundred. But if you got, if you on lockdown and you on lockdown for two three months, and you got a whole family to feed, I don't know how far twenty five hundred dollars gonna take you. Right. So anyway, uh, listen. Oh, <laughs> just a a, a, a a insert. For like an advertisement, Louis Farrakhan will be having <laughs> will be having a speech on July the fourth. But he always give out good information. Yeah, he, he does. He, he always give out good information to move people forward. So um, say about him what you may, but I like to listen to him because, like I said, 
He has um, his organization. They have helped a lot of uh, black, especially black men. Uh, I'm not a Muslim, but like I said, Louis Farrakhan does give out good information. He's very wise. He's an older gentleman and he has wisdom. Um, increase your knowledge. Increase your knowledge about gardening. Somebody was saying something about food. The food, what, uh, well, the thing is, if you can't get food, you better learn how to grow it. <laughs> and uh, also, building things. I have a couple of builders in my house that know how to put things together. That's my daughters. <laughs> so, if I get something, they know how to put it together. They know how to use a hammer, a nail, a stapler, things of that nature. So, if you don't, learn how to do that. Learn how to uh, unstop your toilet. <laughs> uh, well, well, if the push comes show, you might be going out to the back woods <laughs> with toilet paper. <laughs> well, you know, we always got to go to the extreme. Right. And then educate, educating your children. T having open conversations about what is going on uh, with today. Don't try to hatch it. Don't try to keep things from your children nowadays because they they going to hear it from somebody else. Right. So I have open And it's dialogue. better them hear it from you than out in these streets or on social media. Yeah. So I talk to my kids about everything. Sometimes my ears be burning and I'll be like, oh, I want to go. <laughs> but I talk to them about everything. Yeah. You know? Because if they can't come to us, that's right. You know, they're going to they're going to seek that from somebody else. And that may give them misinformation. Right. Yeah. Um so that's pretty much what I have in pre in preparing yourself. Yeah. Uh, we we doing things of what, what we about to do this weekend. We about to go look for us some land. Yeah. So, got about to go look for us some land. Uh, about to go get her an AK, so <laughs> me and her can share the same bullets. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, my house on lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So, um, but we we laughing and joking about this. But seriously, uh, I I'm just you know. I, I just rather be prepared than and not. be safe than not. I would rather have something like when, you know, when they was talking about the mask. I would rather have an overabundance of masks and we don't use them than for us not to have masks. Right. I would rather have an overabundance of alcohol in my house because I got about 10 bottles of alcohol. <laughs> I got a lot of alcohol too, but it ain't that kind of alcohol. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so I'd rather have an overabundance. Then none at all. Right. So, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so also with food, don't have one one um a day or two days worth of food in your house. I mean, buy you can you can buy stuff like beans, rice, that type of stuff keeps for a little while. So just be prepared. Just be prepared. Yeah. yeah. And that's all we saying. Uh, be smart about it. Be wise as a serpent oh, and harmless as a dove. And Remember, B O Y B B. Be on your best, best behavior. behavior. And in these days and times, be a blessing to someone else. Bye.